Right my friends, in this video I'm actually going to challenge myself to do something I've never actually done before. Actually, I have done something very similar to this. So a while ago, I actually fitted uh, exterior lights to one of my uh, model locos. But that was a diesel locomotive and you know, it's all well and good, but I wanted to go a bit further. In fact, I want to do two things. Number one, I have already done exterior lights, but can I do interior lights? And number two, can I do it to a steam engine? Hmm. Let me explain on what I'm going to try and do. Now the latest model I actually reviewed was this, my Hornby Tornado. And I did say that uh, normally in any other model tender engine that I have, uh, the chip DCC thingy that plugs in to make, a di to make it a digital loco is normally in the tender, but the chip is actually in the locomotive. So the motherboard thingy is actually in the loco and not in the tender. And that actually got me thinking that might be more practical to fit one of these inside the cab. Da -da! I have this tiny little LED light uh, with some wires on it. Now, this isn't just like a normal light that I'm just gonna be fitting inside the cab. This is actually an orange flickery light, which basically uh, is the firebox fire glow thing that I'm gonna fit to my model to make it look like that the cab is all glowy and like you know it's it's you know you can actually see the fire from inside the cab so that is what I'm uh that's what I'm gonna try and do. Now I actually picked up this light on eBay quite cheap for around about like, you know two pounds something or other. Um but the challenge is is can I actually solder line this to my model tornado well the Hornby tornado I should say uh can I basically do my clever skill. I don't actually have any clever skills, but can I solder and iron this to the loco? That's what I'm going to find out. So um, I probably might not uh, film me actually doing the solder and iron because it's actually really complicated, but I have seen a lot of how-to videos of how to do this, so uh, <laughs> I have no faith in myself whatsoever, but uh, let's just see if what we're going to try and do with this thing. Mm. Shouldn't actually shake around too much, I could damage it. But anyway, I'm gonna go to my kitchen because my kitchen is basically my workshop now. Uh, solder and iron this, and then I'll get back to you uh, later on in the video. So, uh, I'll see you guys shortly. Mm. So, what I did is I took the body off the chassis, uh, solder and iron at the wires where they need to go and actually it was pretty simple because the blue wire goes in the blue hole and the green wire goes in the green hole. That probably doesn't make sense but basically the motherboard has eight holes. There's the white one, the grey one, the orangey peachy one, the red one, the black one, the yellow one, the green one and the blue one. That that's it. And the little LED had a green wire and a blue wire, and I just had to solder and iron in which hole they need to go into. Uh, this is not like a how-to video because I watched a lot of uh, how-to videos, and it is actually pretty simple. I, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, because um, because of someone of my lack of skills, uh, it was it was alright. Not bad for a first timer. Huh? And I took the body and used my dad's Dremel to drill a hole where the LED is going to go. Yes. So I'll put that to one side. But the question is, does the LED light actually work? So let's see if it works. Do do do. Plug in the controller. Okay. So basically, this is an A1. So we want loco number one. Uh, let me just move it forward just a little bit just to see if it does work. Oh yeah, it moves. So that is engine number one. So to activate the little LED light, it's function 18, as it says on the manual. So here we go, function 18. Let's have a look. Oh my God! It's alive! It works! It works, guys! It works! Oh my God! It doesn't flicker as I was hoping it would but I think there's some way I need to program the LED light to actually make it like flicker but I don't actually know how to do that so I'll probably send an email to the people who made this light to ask them how will I um, 
change it so the light is actually flickering. But apart from that, oh, I think it looks good. At least it works. I, I, oh, you can actually see it like like glowing on my hand. Oh, that is so cool. So I guess what I need to do now is put the body back on, give it its tender, and it'll look like this. Never in my life thought I would ever do something as cool as this because it was quite simple, I have to be honest. Now I have customised this model as well, I've given it more realistic coal, I've painted the roof, I've given it front headlights, added a floor panel and I've even added people inside the cab to obviously make it look more realistic because it's like, you know, it's a steam train, it's operated by humans. And also it's a good idea that I painted the inside of the roof white because uh, the actual fire glow will reflect off white and it doesn't reflect off well on black. So it's a good job that the, the, the roof is painted white so the light can reflect better. So it lights up the whole thing and oh, it looks so good. So you guys are probably just wondering what does it look like when it's actually moving? Let's have a little look, shall we? How cool is that, my friends? This is the best thing I've ever done. I don't care what anyone else thinks. This is the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, it works! It's a very rare moment where I actually do anything that works. <laughs> yes. Oh, you have no idea how happy I am right now. <laughs> it's so cool. Now, obviously, the actual light itself doesn't flicker because I need to, like, you know, reprogram the chip, and, you know, I have no idea how to do that. So, um, that's the only thing I question, but apart from that, it just looks so cool. It, it looks a billion times better of what it did before when, you know, when, when I did the unboxing video. So, uh, it's got people on it, it's got uh, a fire glow, more realistic coal, it's got headlamps, it's got a painted roof, it's... It, it's, it's like, in my opinion, the maybe the ultimate Hornby Tornado model out there. 
There might be better ones out there, actually. Um, there are some Hornby tornadoes with a smoke effect, but I heard it stinks. But of course, I do need to add sound to this model, then it'll be, then it's perfect. Um, but I'm not giving up with this, uh, this firebox LED glow effect. I actually want to do it to all my uh, Steam models I own. But the next engine I'm thinking of maybe adding the firebox glow to it is this. Ta da My Hornby Merchant Navy. Now I think adding a firebox glow to this particular model will be amazing because this thing has got some fantastic sound and if I had, you know, a firebox glow to it, God, God knows how much that will make this model like a million times better. Oh, maybe that's something I should do. But not just the Merchant Navy I want to do it to, I want to do it to my Flying Scotsman, uh, my King class, my Schools class, the 9F, the Black 5. Just there's, there's so many ideas and there's so many steam engines that I need to add Firebox Glow to it. Um, and the good thing about these little LED light things, they are incredibly cheap. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button because we're at 79,700 subscribers. Oh my God, guys. We're, we're every, every video I make, we're getting closer and closer and closer to 80,000 subscribers. So click subscribe because, you know, this, this is what we do on the Ladies Jet YouTube channel. We, we try out new things and we have fun doing them. Oh, but I'm so proud of this. But yes, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. these things. Sort of.